and making your own water decals or like buying them is you know what it just changes the way that your um that your nails look and it really like separates you from people that are just doing like nail art i'm still doing nail art like don't get me wrong i'm still like practicing on my nail art this is a grinch uh finger you know holding the the ornament I did that one, and then um, I also did this one. So I'm definitely trying to, you know, uh, work on it. It's really hard, I'll admit. It's really hard. But um, I'm still working on it. I'm also doing another branch. I started doing another one because I didn't like how the other one turned out. So um, I'm still practicing my nail work. Some people don't like the fact that others use decals, but, like, it doesn't really make, it doesn't make a difference. Like, if you, there's an audience, no, there's clientele for people that want decals, want something that looks exactly like the picture, and there's an audience for people that want hand-drawn nails. So it like almost doesn't really make sense to me, but um, I'm doing both, so no one really can tell me anything. But you, there's definitely people in like the nail art game that like don't like people that use decals, like they think it's cheating. And I think, however you can accomplish the look, and if it works for you and it's easier for you, or you like to do it that way then go for it. I don't really think anyone should worry about what others are doing. Um, I personally don't believe I have competition. I'm gonna admit, I don't believe it. And that's how you're supposed to be with literally everything you do. That's how you're supposed to, like, that's what you're supposed to believe. Like, there's some people that you keep, like, um, how like what what products they use and stuff and it it like almost doesn't make sense to me because um like for people to actually go out and buy the products yeah they could do that but if you're making handmade stuff they can't do it like you they can't because they're handmade i mean everyone's work is going to turn out different and that's what i think too like i think um, there was someone, there's someone that actually bought nails from me, and then they, they put on there, like, oh, should I start selling press on nails? But they're obviously not handmade, they're not going to be handmade with my mother. And, um, at first I was like, dude, what the hell, like, why would you try and do that? Like, you know I sell press on nails. That was honestly my first thought, and I'm kind of embarrassed that I'm even telling you guys that that was my first thought. But I was like, what the hell, why would you do that? Like, I make press on nails, like, like, uh, I don't know, like, they're gonna, you're gonna take from my clientele. But then I was like, but can anyone really take people from me? No, they can't. Because first, I make mine handmade. The ones that she's gonna be selling would be uh, machine made. And oh my gosh, if you guys wear press on nails, you know that the quality on handmade and machine made, it just doesn't compare. It really doesn't. The machine could never. They couldn't. Like, they, they're they cheap for a reason. And, like, I use the word cheap because they are cheap. They're not just inexpensive. They're cheap. Um, so, I'm not worried at all. And I was actually wanting to uh, comment on there and be like, hey, yeah, I feel like there's, you know, there's people out there, I, I wanted to say, you know, the quality on machine-made nails don't compare to handmade nails, but there are also people that don't care. There are people that don't care about the quality. Like, they really don't. And with press on, some people even just wear them for, like, a day. So if they're not wanting them to be reusable, then it's, like, a really good way to go, I guess. But also, like, with, um, with handmade items, like, there's no way that, you know, handmade is just way different. Because people could come to me and be like, hey, I want these custom nails. And 
you can send me an info pic and stuff. Oh, to bougiebusynails.com. Just letting you guys know. Sorry. And my email is bougiebusynails at gmail.com. So, I'm over here talking about my business and not even shouting myself out. So, this, um, that's where you can, um, send me info pics and stuff. And that is what people do. But, oh, that was weird. Um, what I'm saying is that, like, machines, you can't, like, custom, you can't ask for a custom set, is basically what I'm saying. So, that's where, you know, uh, people that make me can make press on to make their money by getting clientele that really want a certain type of nail look, and they can't find it, because the machines don't make them or that they really want a certain nail look, and the only thing that they found are machine-made nails, and they don't want machine-made nails because they want the actual quality to be there. So there are different clientele, different people for you know different strokes for different folks. I don't even know what that really means, but I think I used it right. Um, but yeah, there's like no reason, even if someone look, even if someone does the same things that I do. Even if they make press on I feel like I separate myself because I make my own water decals. And I also sell them. So if you guys are interested, we should use email.com. Or I also have like other ones like, um, you know, some monster themed ones. These have been stuck on here for so long. <laughs> but I just put them there for fun. But they're literally like actually stuck on there. And I was like, oh wow. Well. It looks cute anyway. But we have monster things. We have. Lilo, we have Lilo and Stitch, um, we have Powerpuff Girls, we have Rugrats, those are the only ones that we have so far, but, um, that's what I'm saying, I feel like I separate myself because I make my own decals, and I make nails with decals on them, so, um, that's where we are right now, so we need to go come out of the pyramid. So we will do a double coat to put uh, the covers that we're wanting to get. Okay, my head's kind of hurting. Huh? It wasn't, it wasn't here. Oh no! I, I kind of have a feeling I should have left it in there longer. So this nail is definitely going to be one of the nails that we put a French cucaracha on. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave them for longer because they're not here. Um, but yes, anyways, I might choose one of those. So this one, I at least wanted to do one nail that was like a full, uh, full cover nail. Yeah, actually, I might do like two, two full cover nails and like three different V-shaped nails. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do actually. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to put these yet. I can't. <laughs> I'm definitely going to cut it bigger than my actual nail. Just because with the other Grinch one, if you guys saw, those two glitters going on here and it does not go well with the decals because it acts just for ripping it. Although these are very durable, I will admit they're very durable, but uh, the glitter will, if you're rubbing like glitter on it, you're going to rip it. So when it comes to that part, I'll be taking off my gloves and just doing that. And we're 
I'm gonna be using water so I'm gonna be um making a bag. Because I have uh, my nails on and I don't want to be ruining my nails. I already want a little bit of black on some of them. Um so that kind of sucks, but Is this cute? Okay, not really, but so this is my nail art brush. <laughs> and um if you have it to put some light, it will cure. And this has a clear coat on it. I shouldn't have left this up close to the light. Oh no! I think it actually is. Uh, I think it actually is cute. I think they're gonna be more in I have another one that. I think I'm going to just soak it in here. That's all about those little, um, those little white things in it. It's just clear coat. It's clear, clear coat, but it's just there. Oh, there we go. We're good. We revived it. Yay. Okay. If this is acetone, honestly, you really don't want to, you know, clean your brushes with acetone, but that's like the only thing that I found that I can work, so. After you clean your brush with acetone, a, a cool little trick to use is, um, using cuticle oil to hydrate your brushes. So that definitely is an important step. Hydrating your brushes is really, really important. Or else they'll like, start to fall apart and get like really rough. And it will not be good. I have to admit, this part's really annoying for me, like putting two coats on the nail. I don't really like this step. What I could do is buy like full cover tints that I already have this color on them, but I kind of wonder about the quality of those. I've never used like already colored brushes, I mean nail tips. Maybe do you want chicken and like um, your, your mom's like selling things? I'm getting, I'm hungry, you're not hungry, I'm not. You're not Yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I don't want to come back in. I just don't want to be in there. I still need it. Okay. Just a little bit of soil. You want that right now? Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm so hungry right now. So, okay, last night I literally had my last burger. I had my last burger. You guys, I'm getting to the point where like I'm eating everything in sight. It's really weird. Um, I just had a baby, not just, she's four months old now, but, um, it's to the point where I'm like, alright, you guys, like, I don't have the excuse anymore to, like, oh yeah, you know, like, just had a baby, like, my body can look like this, you know what I mean? Like, 
I need to start working out. I need to start eating less. And I am drinking Herbal Life meal replacements. And if you've never had Herbal Life, the, the meal shakes from Herbal Life, they're so good. Literally, we're feeling cream and bomb. My dad used to sell them when I was like, uh, like 13, 14, 15 kind of. He used to sell them uh, when I was younger, and like the whole family started on Herbalife. And I swear, we all lost so much weight, and we were also going to the gym, of course, but we all lost so much weight, and that was the, the lowest weight I had ever been in my life. So, um, I want to get at least back to that weight. <clears throat> but I was also like building muscle and so I was like, I got jumped when I was young, so like, when I was 15, I got jumped by this fucking girl that I made my friend, and then she jumped me with this other girl, um, and then I started like going to the gym really hard, because I'm like, yeah, that's never happening again, so I got like really strong, and I was, uh, drinking the Herbalife shakes, and, um, now that I thought about like losing weight again, I was like, oh my gosh, I remember the like, it was in cream purple and shake. They were so good. So I'm just like, I need to get those things. And then some girl just randomly on Facebook asked me as a friend. And I just like accepted it. And I was looking at her thing. And she was an Herbalife uh, rep. And I was like, oh my gosh, how funny. So I'm like, okay, perfect. So I have been taking the shakes now. <laughs> I've been taking the shakes now. This is my first day. Um, again. I tried it like a week ago and I did it for a couple days and then I was just like gave up even though I started feeling so good about myself and I just gave up again it was weird so I'm like you know what like I really need to actually do this I need to do this and really put in the time into myself to to lose weight you guys because I cannot be dealing with this like I feel so uncomfortable in my own skin, like, before, you know, when I first had a baby, I was really good about being like, you know what, my body just had a baby, like, my body was made for this, um, it's okay what my body looks like, this. and I was okay with it, but now that it's just been so long, I'm not okay with it anymore, um, and I don't have any excuses anymore, now I can't say like, oh yeah, my body just like totally created this creature. Um, no, not a creature, <laughs> a baby. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, but yeah, it's just getting to the point where we're done with that. We're done with it. This is how I'm the now. These look a little lawless. That one does not. Um, because I just started. I just started putting it on another layer when it wasn't cured. So we'll just go in with a light coat. I think it's not too noticeable that there's like technically three coats on this now. One of the nails that actually is a full cover. You know, oh, why did I even put this? Is from I Don't Beauty. It's Coats of Casimir. It's um, a nude. Just in case anyone's interested or wants to ask what kind it is. Um, I should have just not even put, and I should have just only put nail foil glue on the full cover tips that I'm gonna on the tips that I'm going to fully cover. Um, the reason for that is because I just wasted product. No one's going to be wearing, wearing these nails, so it's like, but the thing is, if they do have the same color underneath, um, I could take these to uh, my pop-up shop on December, what is it, December 9th in Apple Valley, California. I'm going to be setting up a booth there. So, I already paid for it, it's like $40. Um, I set up, I'm gonna be sending out my booth there, so I really can't wait. It's gonna be like so much fun.
Mm -hmm. But we're just gonna wait till that last nail cures because we know when light comes in, uh, I'm just gonna touch it and ruin it. So we'll wait till that cures. In the meantime, um, I guess I can start mapping out what I want to do. Hmm. Okay, the, the thumb is going to be a full color one. You know what? I could probably do three full color nails. And two of them can be French. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. They could, you know, a V French might be a lot easier than an actual French tip. Yup, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go with the nail oil and then the water. And now I'm gonna take off the gloves because I it's just really hard. It's really hard when there is so much there's so much glitter on these gloves. Tiny for my little particles of glitter. So actually, this is going to be a part one. We're going to go, we're going to come back and do a part two.